Since 1884, Chesterton has been providing value-driven solutions to meet industry's needs. Chesterton solutions have been implemented around the world with documented success and recognition. Increasing equipment reliability, optimizing energy consumption, and providing local technical support and service are what Chesterton offers industry worldwide. Global Solutions Local Service The Chesterton 442C Cartridge Split Mechanical Seal is the latest innovation in split seal technology, combining superior seal performance with the ease of installation of a cartridge split seal. The Chesterton 442C Cartridge Split Mechanical Seal will provide you with enhanced sealing reliability and long seal life. The 442C can be rebuilt in your facility with your personnel. You do not have to purchase new replacement seals and place them into your plant inventory. Chesterton supplies off-the-shelf 442C spare parts kits at a fraction of a new seal assembly price. There are no measurements to take, elastomers to cut and then glue back into place as required with other split seal designs. By following the simple steps covered in this video, you will be able to quickly and accurately rebuild the 442C cartridge split mechanical seal in your equipment. Before you remove the repair parts from the carton, prepare a clean work surface for the initial seal disassembly. Begin the repair process with the holder assembly. With the holder in front of you, remove the two holder gaskets as well as the shaft o-ring halves. Remove the two face halves by pushing on the face half end and sliding each out of the holder halves. Take out both socket head cap screws and set screws. Remove all centering buttons from both holder halves. Place the two gland assembly halves on the work surface. Remove the two used gland gaskets and stuffing box gasket halves from the gland assembly. Take out both socket head cap screws. The stationary face halves are held into the gland assembly with retainer clips. Remove the used spring retainers from the gland assembly using a small screwdriver as shown. Once the spring retainers are removed, the stationary face can be removed and discarded. Remove the stationary o-ring halves from the gland assembly. If necessary, remove the used springs from the gland halves by tapping them with a small hammer. If necessary, remove both spring lifter halves. Thoroughly clean both the holder and the gland assemblies using a suitable cleaning solution prior to rebuilding. If there is any residual material on the stuffing box gasket area, remove using mineral spirits or other suitable cleaning solution. Inspect the two assemblies for any pitting, scoring, or other damage to the components that may affect its reuse. If you have any questions regarding the condition of the metal subassemblies, please contact your Chesterton representative. Once the seal has been inspected and cleaned, you may begin the repair process. Installation instructions are provided with every spare parts kit. You will find seal repair instructions here also. Start by carefully installing new centering buttons in the holder. It is important to ensure the buttons are fully seated in the holder to achieve proper centering. It is important not to deform the head of the centering button while installing. Use a small plastic tip hammer or similar tool to install them. Insert the new set screws, taking care that they do not protrude beyond the inside surface of the rotary holder. This is important during installation of the seal. If the set screws protrude, the rotary holder assembly will not seat correctly on the shaft. Lubricate the threads of the socket head cap screws with an anti-seize compound or suitable lubricant and install in the rotary holder assembly. Apply a thin film of silicone grease, provided in the kit, on the shaft o-ring halves and install. O-rings must protrude evenly from both holder half ends. Install the rotary holder shipping spacers in the holder halves. Apply a thin film of grease on the rotary o-ring halves and install. 
Insert the rotary face halves and press on the face to seat the face halves in the holder halves. Inspect the O-ring ends and ensure that they are flush with the rotary face splits. If the O-ring ends are proud of the rotary face splits, gently push the ends with your finger or thumb until flush with the face. Be careful not to push the O-ring ends further into the assembly past the rotary face splits. Apply a thin film of grease on the holder assembly gaskets and install. Ensure that they seat fully into the grooves. Install the installation spacers on each of the rotary halves. When finished, clean the rotary face halves with a cleaning wipe or cloth. The rotary holder assembly is now ready for installation. Take the two gland halves and install the socket head cap screws. Lubricate the socket head cap screw threads with a suitable lubricant prior to installing. Assemble the two gland halves using the Allen wrench provided in the kit and fully tighten. Take the stuffing box gasket halves and peel the protective backing on one of the halves. There is a gasket guideline on the gland assembly. Align the end of the stuffing box gasket to this guide and press the gasket half into the recess. Peel the protective backing off the other gasket half and seat this gasket into the gland recess. Ensure that it fully butts up with both ends of the previously installed gasket half. This will ensure a proper gasket seal to the stuffing box after seal installation. Install new springs into each spring slot on the gland. Use a plastic tip hammer to properly seat each of the springs. Ensure the springs are properly seated. Disassemble the gland by disengaging the two socket head cap screws and separate the two halves. Install the spring lifter clips in one of the gland halves as shown. These clips are used to ease the installation of the spring lifter. Lubricate the spring lifter half with the silicone grease provided and install in the gland half so that the leading end is exposed beyond the last spring. It is important that the L-shaped part of the spring lifter is installed on the recessed side of the gland. Align the end of the spring lifter with the edge of the outboard spring. A small screwdriver may help with the installation process. Remove all clips and repeat on the other gland half. Save the spring lifter clips to reset the spring lifter at a later date. Apply a thin film of grease to the stationary O-ring halves and install in the gland halves. Ensure that the O-ring splits protrude evenly on both sides. Install the stationary face halves into the gland halves. The notches in the stationary face halves align with the springs. Use the spring retainers to affix the face halves into the gland halves. Once the spring retainers are installed, apply a thin film of grease to the gland gaskets and install in the grooves of the gland halves. Inspect the O-ring ends and ensure that they are flush with the rotary face splits. If the O-ring ends are proud of the rotary face splits, gently push the ends with your finger or thumb until flush with the face. Be careful not to push the O-ring ends further into the assembly past the rotary face splits. Clean the stationary face halves with the cleaning wipe or cloth to remove any contaminants from the seal face halves during the repair process. If necessary, replace the elastomer retainers in the gland tabs and install the gland tabs on the gland assembly. The 442C cartridge split mechanical seal is now ready for installation in your rotating equipment. Retain the installation tool supplied in the repair kit. 
This tool will be needed for the installation of the 442C split seal. To view the 442C installation video, please go to www.chesterton.com forward slash 442C underscore videos and click on the desired video.